Hello everyone, my name is Al, and welcome back to another episode of Loop Hero. And we jump straight into it. As you can see, the town is really starting to grow. We are getting there. And yes, you guessed it. Today we're taking on Act 4. So I'm not going to mess around. We're going to go into Act 4 with the rogue. And I think, I think this is going to be okay. So we're going to start off. As usual by throwing down our wonderful arsenals and there we go smacky smacky yes sir now I'm going to run in the same tactic more or less that I did for act 3 I'm gonna try to rush it a little bit so we'll see how that goes could go horrendous could go great let's find out um, I haven't quite thought about where I'm gonna start the river so for now the forests will just go there so let's have a look if I start here and I loop around and I loop around and I loop around and I loop around I'm gonna run out so if I start here and I loop around and I loop around I can go up until well, hang on why is this not working now? so from there yes sorry you're watching me draw pictures in the sand Alright, somewhere I'm going to run into. I could always just take the river up and across. And then this way then, and up and down. But I feel like bringing it this way will be better. Maybe I shouldn't. Let's, let's try something new. So let's take it up this way. And I'm actually going to go quite bananas with both of these. Like I said, we're rushing this. We want to get those bosses as quickly as they can before they start to scale up and beat me in the face. Will that work? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Now, I've been grinding out a little bit, and in my grinding, I have been quite successful with the first and... Well, kind of up until fifth or um, uh, 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 if I can speak today, kind of up until I think it is the Act Three boss. I got through all of them relatively painlessly, and then I I kind of got stuck there and I was just grinding out, you know, just just going through the things. So it seemed to be quite okay. I I know the fourth, the Act Four boss is he's he's a bit of a thriller. So, I'm hoping that that's going to be okay. So, if I'm going up here and around here, I can put some here. So, I want to try to restrict the thickets to the river. Obviously, that just makes sense because they get more of a bonus. And I'm just going to plop the forest up and around here. But also, I need to keep an eye on Oblivion cards because I don't really want to have to deal with... Uh, those wooden guys, you know, the little... Those guys. Because they make that exact sound. Oh, yes. Um, am I using potions or have I just not gotten enough? I'm quite confused. Alright, we've got some level 4 weapons. I cannot complain about that. A level 4 amulet. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm going to keep that because it's the only form of damage that I've got. The damage all. Which is still... What I'm going to be focusing on. I'm going to be focusing on trying to get pure damage and damage to all. Which seems to be the real humdinger of a combination. I'm going to start. I don't like putting the blood curve so early because those big, big guys start to spawn in. <gasps> they scare me a little bit. But, you know, just kind of got to go with it. So, I've uh, upgraded a bunch of things. You'll see my vampirism is starting at 13 percent that is insane that is a good amount of recovery that i'm getting from that so yeah i'm, I'm quite pleased with that um we'll see how well it serves us and that one spawns there still no oblivion Ooh, this could end poorly ask and it shall be given there we go oblivion Alright, we got some damage to all boots, that's what I want. We got some pure damage. We got a level 6 axe. And a better sword. So far, damage to all 5. Not great, but we're getting there. And, we're almost already at the first boss. So he's gonna be really, really, really weak. 
At least in theory, right? <laughs> I'm saying all these things as if I'm some kind of loop hero professional. Ooh, I almost placed that in the wrong place. Um, I'm not really. I'm just a guy. Please be good. Please be good. That. That is pretty bad. I guess I'm going to have to go with that. 7% less damage. Ugh, those are some of the worst talents to start off with. That is not a good start. Ugh. The luck. The luck is not worth it. And in the previous run where I was just doing some farming, I had the best choices of items, uh, of perks. It was, like, really, they came at the exact time that I needed them. It was a flawless run. Now, obviously, I won't be so lucky. Because it's boss time. Alright, so here we go. First of the bosses, the Lich. Wham bam, come on, Mr. Undead Man. Let's see what you got. How is it possible? Shut up, we have a score to settle. Kick him. Bang, bang, bang. I should probably, when I get to boss fights, I should probably slow it down. Okay, bang. 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 This feels so slow right now. It's like, ooh, for slow motion. Okay, but look at me. His scaling is so bad. So he did almost no damage. Nonsense. This is impossible for so many reasons. I forgot I was doing voices. I don't understand. How does a skeleton sound? <coughs> Next time, I'll try something new on this punching bag. And that's the first one down. So, do we have any decent items? No. I'm going to have to upgrade the chesty. What is this? Damage tool. I'm going to have to keep the damage tool. I'm going to take the axe. I guess I'll take the crit damage. Eh. Eh, the items so far are not uh, treating me very well. Alright, let's get that speed back up there. Sorry. There we go, there we go. Okay, so act one boss done. Moving on to the next one. Let's hope it goes at clean as clean. Now she's a little bit more tricky obviously because she spawns those mirrors. No one likes punching a mirror. I'm assuming at least, I don't know. I haven't really tried punching a mirror. At least not intentionally. Maybe I've punched one accidentally? I don't know. But yeah, anyway, it's been a little bit of time. I'm actually going to change that. Since I last had a loop era episode, just because I was doing the grinding up and... You know, the grinding up is a little bit boring. At, at this stage, it's almost like... Especially in Act 4. Because Act 4, you've got no limit on your resources. It goes infinitely. So it's almost like you kind of, you set it up, and then you AFK, especially with the rook. You AFK until he comes back, change some equipment perhaps, AFK. So, you know, nothing too exciting happens, and I really don't think anyone is interested in just watching, I oh, like that. Ooh, that's a nice one. Watching the little man go in circles all the time, doing much of the same. So... Pure damage defense, now I've already got better. So now my pure damage sitting at 13, or oh, my damage to all at 13, pure damage at 10. Things are starting to look glorious. The river is progressing nicely. Um, I don't seem to be taking too much in the way of damage yet. I don't quite have enough spiders. The spiders have not been coming out as much as I need. And we're almost at Act 2 boss already. So, that's something to bear in mind. I'm going to start placing some of these bad boys along the edges. Just because I've got so many of them. Got a lot of villagers too. Really, really would love to be able to put some villagers down. But, I need to make sure I've got uh, some oblivion cards to get rid of the those exact things that just pitches up. Alright, we are approaching our next level up here. More spiders, thank you. I will take more spiders. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. Let's see. What do we get? Picky. I'll take Picky. Picky's okay. Picky's good. Picky's a good one. Picky's going to give me some much, much needed item upgrades. Damage to all nine. Just like that. Damage to all three plus some attack speed. I'll take it. Defense. Pure damage 4, I like the damage to all though, if I'm honest. This is a level 6 weapon, it's a little bit better than that, I'm going to keep that one. 
Damage toll. I, I, I'm swearing by damage toll. I really am swearing by damage toll. It feels like just the way to go. Alright. Um, yeah. And now we carry on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on, go away. Getting a little bit more missed start from that side, actually. Some more speeders. So yeah, I'm hoping, kind of hoping, I'm not planning on it because I know anything can go wrong in this game, but I'm planning on this being the finale. Can you believe it? We're actually reaching the end of it. Well, sort of. It's either going to be this one or uh, a soon upcoming video, you know? Um, but yeah, we are we're nearly there. Can you believe it? This has been a great little journey. I've... Hey, Act 2 boss. We're ready for you. I've actually enjoyed it so much. This is such a fantastic game. And I know it's it came out last year, so it's not brand, brand new. But um, I think this is a bit of a missed gem by some people, you know? I think there's a lot of people that have just never played this. And it's really, really so worth the play. Okay, let's see. I'm a little bit nervous for this auntie. She likes to be very aggressive and hit hard, even though she talks nicely. Yep, she's not very nice. Yo, don't know why. Don't know who irritated her or who did what to her. But we'll hope that we can get through. Okay. Round two. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross whatever you can. Let's get into it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Slow down the speed. Let's go. One speed. Could you please stop? I refuse. Two arms. Here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Reflect. Bam, bam. So the mirrors reflect, which is not great for me. My attack speed is pretty good already. My evasion is meh. Those angels are hitting pretty hard. Uh, the potions are starting to go. The potions are really starting to go. I am struggling to see how if this is good, but I'm hitting. Look at that damage. That's some good damage. 90. Bam. Thank you. All right. Seven potions down, but it's all right. And a failure again. Till we meet again, zealot. All right. All right. It's not amazing, but that definitely, definitely could have gone worse. So, I guess I can't complain too much. I'm gonna have to take a better axe. I have to. Ugh, come on. Where's my damage to all? Nine, nine. Oof. My items. Work with me, items. Alright, anyway. Let's just carry on building up. Aiming for that bad boy act three boss. Let's throw down. I'm actually gonna throw down some here. You see, this is the problem that I'm running into. I've now got two of those things. It's the only problem with rushing it. I'm not getting oblivions, which is pretty darn bad. My attack speed is looking really good. Hello, let's let's get the speed back up there. Oh, you see that reflect damage. I mean, I'm killing them quick, so that's all right. It's okay, but I am just a touch on the nervous side. I say I need to slow down with them, and guess what I do? I just carry on going absolutely bananas with it. So, Act 3, we're about halfway. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see how it goes. I need some better items, though, if I'm planning on taking on uh, the big boy at the end. I really need some better. I need some more damage to all. But it's alright. We'll just. Oh, I've got three of them now. I really need to stop. He says while placing more thickets. <laughs> Oh, I'm so terrible. All right, what have we got? Oh, pickpocket rat wolf. This is great when you're farming. I'm not farming. This is not going to be helpful unless I'm farming a rat wolf. Oh, I really need. There's a bunch that increases your life. Those are the ones I need. I really need those. But they're just not happening for me. All right, forest. Stop. I need to stop with the forest until I've got some oblivions. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh no. Pure damage, 9. That's not bad. Defense. 
I need some damage to all. I've got five there. And I guess I'll take the five over what I've got. This is pure damage nine. Which is better than that. Ooh. Okay, so pure damage sitting at 20, damage to all 22. Pure damage 4, I'll keep the damage to all, even though it's less health. Let's carry on. Let's just carry on. There's not much we can do, we just gotta, we gotta plow forward. Keep rushing these bad boys. Okay, more rivers. I've got, I, I do not have a shortage of rivers, like, at all. Where do I need a turn? I think I need a turn up here to come down again. So I'm gonna put there so that I know I need to turn now. Okay, the lucky thing about them is I actually kill them quick enough that they don't really damage me. I think uh, my um, vampirism is helping a lot. Uh, I don't wanna play with them though. Oh goodness, now there's four. And we are reaching very close to that uh, Act 3 boss. Uh, is there any other places I can put this? Nah, not really. Alright, well, let's just fill it up what we got. Let's fill you up. Let's add some more rivers. Oblivions, I need Oblivions. Anyone for Oblivions? so much damage down. I don't really feel like level 7 weapons. Luckily for the most part my items are higher level than what I am which is kind of the rule of thumb you want to keep up. My attack speed is looking very good. Uh, if I'm not careful I'm going to hit the boss. Maybe I should hit the boss soon. Oh look at all those green guys. I don't like them green guys. But yeah I'm going to hit him before. Alright Act 3 the one I struggle with for so long. I think... I'm going to just kind of plop down a bunch of forests. I will deal with the consequences later. Yep, those are the consequences I'm talking about. Look, my, my attack speed is going to be through the roof. Alright. Oh, there's an oblivion. So, let's get rid of you. Let's put the combat speed down again. Alright, everyone. Act 3, boss. We're almost there. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. The hunt begins. Sick him. Woof. Alright, alright. Let's go, let's go. I've got my own doggy. Let's see whose doggy is better. Mine or yours? Okay. Dog one is almost out the game. My dog is out the game. So let's just... Okay. First potion down. Come on, come on. Second potion down. Second dog is on the way out. Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Okay, I'm starting to deal damage to this guy. Oh, come on, come on, tired man, come on. Yes, bam. Woo. Woo. It's just a waste of time. Oh, that was me. Oops, I got the voices wrong. Oh, uh, sorry. The new ant is coming. I've already got your scent. Eek. Alright, let's see. Please give me some better items. Damage tall. I will take it. Pure damage. Ugh, come on. Oh, yes, I've got one of these. I love these. So, that one's got damage to all. The pole arm. That one has pure damage. I will rotate you around. Thank you. Pure damage. Attack speed. Pure damage. I guess I can take this one. Just because I need a little bit more shielding. Alright, let's turn up the speed again. We've got an Oblivion card. Let's take out one of these. Alright, now I need to think clearly. Because I'm not actually sure if I should now carry on or be a little bit more picky. Because I'm sitting at 241 attack speed. Now... I don't think I need much more than that, if I'm honest. Because if I attack too quickly, I just get tired quickly. And that doesn't help anyone. So I'm going to be a little bit more selective with my thickets. 
and not just go bananas on the um, on the forest as well. Look, there's still a long way to go. Between Act 3 and Act 4 boss there is a bit, but I would like to have another level up. You see, I think this, this could be the only downfall, is my perks have not been ideal. I needed other perks. There's, there's one in particular that gives me more health for every resource chunk I've collected or something. And you see, that's, that would have been a decent amount of health at this point. Yeah, there's another one. Let's just, why not? Okay, let's see, what have we got? These are not great. I think I'll take that one just so I can resurrect repeatedly. Oh, the items are so... Or the perks. They're so bad. Not at all what I need. Oh, is this where we start panicking? Do we start, like, kind of really losing our brain and going, ah, and screaming and... I'm not sure if I'm honest. You know what? It doesn't matter. We'll go for it anyway, because how bad could it be? Damage to all eight? That is better than that pole arm. Don't really care about the defense. I will take it. Counter. Don't care. Pure damage. Damage to all. Brilliant. Ooh, yes. Eleven. I like the maces. I really do like the maces. Attack speed, attack speed, crit chance, damage. Whatever. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so we're sitting at, hello, only 50 damage to all. I would like a little bit more than that. But we are only, and this is good news, we are only at loop level 11. That is so quick that I've gotten there. That is like proper rushing it. Which I think, I think that could do come down to being the key. Really, I think that's gonna that's gonna be the diff big difference maker. Because he's so weak still. Well, I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm guessing like super seriously. Maybe. Do we go full rush again? I say we full rush. I think my items are not bad. I need to start now. I can now start looking at pure damage. My attack speed is looking good, 317, that is, that is pretty good. I cannot complain about that. Fill up the empty squares. What do we have? Pure damage, bleh. Tickets, that's where I want the ticket. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get to this boss. You go there, why not? Put wherever I can right now. Okay, it's looking good. Keep these four far uh, thickets. Alrighty. Bam, bam, bam. Look, the damage is glorious. The damage is amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm slashing through these guys like it's nobody's business. Which, I mean, that's... Wow, can I get any more rivers? Apparently I can. There comes another one. I don't even care about getting rid of them right now, if I'm honest. Alright, give me some good thing. Pure damage, damage all. Beautiful. Crit shot. Blech. I'm really not receiving much items, right? Okay, so I've got 21 pure damage, 66 damage to all. Now, pure damage and damage to all, they really function quite the same. They bypass any armor, which is amazing. Like, that is so amazing. Uh, where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? I can't go there. I can go there. Boom, boom, boom. More thickets. No, we're not more rivers. There it is. Ooh. Ooh, the real action music is in ya. I don't know if this affects him. Radiates with powerful energy that devours space and time itself. It is time to face the destiny of this world. Well, we need to get to the destiny first. So now I should not be shy. I actually have no space to place. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, I'm just scared. So I'm going to try and get rid of some of those things. Right? That seems like a good idea. 
Yeah, I'm the map is full. The map is actually full. So these are the items I'm going with. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping I've got enough. That's all I can do is just hope for the best. We've, we've rushed as much as we can. Look, the damage is good. It's only loop level 12. That's very early. I've really, I've pushed. I'm getting nervous. <clears throat> now, I have beaten him before. Very long ago. I think that was just soon after the game came out. So. Let's get rid of that one. Oh, I thought I could make it. Alright. Here we go. This is the big one. Let's jump into it. Alright, let's slow down our speed. Here we go. What have we got? I can't believe it. Are you really God? The one who created everything? Yes and no. Here is where my transformation started. Once upon a time. Hear me out. Wait. You want to explain everything before you kill me? Annihilate you. It's not the same. Though I suppose there isn't much difference for a consciousness that formed a personality. I do not wish to explain it. I seek to explain myself. There's no reason to it. But maybe you will help me understand something outside my grasp. I will listen closely. Whoa! Oh, <gasps> Cinematic! I was Alpha, the beginning of all and the creator of all. I created everything for I was the god of creation. And above all else, I was fond of life in all its variety and relativity. And I was fond of you humans above all other life. That doesn't sound like a godly voice. Maybe I should go Morgan Freeman. No, I can't do that. I took on a form of a human and manifested myself to humans in countless worlds. So that I may look upon my creation and rejoice in it. But it was here in the heart of a world filled with many creatures teeming with life and struggle where I was met not as the creator but as a threat a man shielded his family from my light as if it was searing flame he had a spear in his hands and he tried to kill me the spear wouldn't do me any harm it was a gathering of atoms I once created scattered and reorganized the matter I created poses me no threat it distorted me as it avoided me and stabbed at the void instead of my body. And yet that fervor. I was more surprised than ever before. My confusion. The greatness of that moment. The defiance in the face of the creator. The will to live and keep living. A small triumph of life completely independent of me so pure and self-sustained going against the will of its god for but a small moment i admired it and i allowed the pierce the spear to pierce my chest i died and yet i didn't die at the center of all creation a new eye was born new and eternal i was overfilled with a desire not to create but to return everything back to nothingness the desire born from the rejection of my past intent and so meaningless destruction replaced meaningless creation whoa this guy's intense you allowed yourself to be killed but why i think it was out of compassion i wished to give my killer what he desired but why won't you show compassion now what's the point of complete emptiness and non-existence Leave at least some of it to us, the survivors. You are a part of creation. You wouldn't understand. Why should life and existence have any meaning to you? Why don't you see oblivion as perfect? I'm obsessed with the idea of reducing everything to nothing. To me, non-existence feels right and just. Perfect. I can't agree with you. Your servants couldn't destroy this place. That means I have a chance, even if it's all that's left to protect. You are not him, yet you are closer to him than anyone else. That's why you are still here. 
You are the closest relative of that man who was holding that spear all those ages ago. You're the tiniest remembrance of my birth, a token of sentimentality I acquired along with my human form. A deeply personal little piece of world, one that I wish to annihilate by my own. I guarded you against my own apostles, knowingly or not, and so you survived. I'm actually curious to see what may become of this. Be brave. I will give you a chance to defend your world, because that would be right. I will protect the right of this world to live. Look at me, and you'll see no doubt in my heart. Alright, here we go. Oh, hitting big boy. Whoa, I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. He is getting rid of some of my stats. Okay, damage to all is still there. No, it's it's gone. Pure damage is still there, but damage to all... Oh, pure damage is gone. My attack speed is still there. But he's almost there. He's almost there. Could this be? Yes? Is he gone? Yes! He's sitting. Unless there's a phase two. Yes! First try. Boom! It is done. I wasn't wrong. I did not overestimate your importance for my existence and my death. And can I just point out quickly before I carry on speaking very deeply. Look at my health bar. I walloped him. That was a walloping. Hello. Hey, it's Susan. I'm afraid that you actually were wrong and you did overestimate it. Eh? Hello again, boy. Let me introduce myself once more. My name is Yota. I am probability itself. I am the goddess of all the unimportant events that tie together so that the universe may keep going. The rustle of a branch that causes an avalanche. The small rock that starts an earthquake. Yay! And now also the goddess of dramatic entrance, I guess. <laughs> Yota, I don't know you. I didn't create you in any of my incarnations. Probability? Chance? How did you come to be? I've always been there, like you always have, like many others you and I know nothing about. This world is ridiculously big. I like the creation of your past incarnation, didn't want it to disappear completely, but I don't have the power to confront you myself. So what's the chance that something in this world can defeat you? How tiny is that chance? Doesn't matter. I thought there has to be a chance. And here he is. A small man made from flesh, blood, some luck, and a few coincidences. Here to strike you down. You've been helping me all this time. So this battle and its result were inevitable. I helped you as much as you helped me. I'm the goddess of the possible, not the inevitable. Good timing is much more important than you think. There exists an uncountable number of other possibilities where you were defeated, where you died on your looped path, or got killed by one of his apostles, or just gave up and watched the world end. All those possibilities and realities are still doomed. Fine, I won't pretend I understood all of it. I need some time to digest it all. But Omega, I mean, Alpha is here now. Can you both restore everything now? Return it to what it was? Yes, I can, but I won't. I shall create the world anew. It will take millennia. At the center of the new world, I will be dying and be born again. And only then. I am sorry. Your victory stopped me but could not undo my work. You fought hard, but the world will remain empty and shall remain so for a very long time. No, do not apologize. I never hoped it would be that easy. And I'm not going to wait until everything goes back to how it was. Even if it takes you ten, what, thousands of years to come back here, I promise you will see a magnificent world built by humans. And if you won't, if humans don't have what it takes to do it, then we never had the right to exist. So be it, human. 
someday I shall meet you again, and we shall remember this moment. It won't be you, but a descendant of yours. One closer to you than anyone else. The one who will recognize me. Remember what I said back then? I'll be glad if you could help us, and I'll be glad to help you. The office still stands. Here's still plenty of work for you to do if you wish, which we can only do together. I can guide you to the possibilities where you are already dead. You can save them. There are too many to count, of course. Too many for one lifetime. But personally, I think it makes the task that much more interesting. You can return to your new home for now. I don't need your answer right away. In essence, the game is trying to tell us, hey, you can play infinitely. The world owes everything to you, but don't forget that you too owe everything to it. Farewell. Wham and bam. Thank you, ma'am. We have defeated the Act 4 boss and in so doing have beaten Lupira. Now, I know this is a pretty long episode. Um, I was actually thinking maybe to split it in half. I don't know if I did, so maybe I did and I don't know. You know, because I'm now still busy recording. But yeah, there we go. We have finished it. And what a great game. This has been a really fantastic playthrough. I, I don't even know how to rate this game. This game is rated honestly 9 out of 10 for me. If not, it is bordering on 10. There is so much good about this game. Anyway, let's uh, let's pick and see if anything else happens. 40% chance. Um, I'm going to take the bottomless bottle because that seems like a good idea. We are not going to stay. The boss has been defeated, but your journey doesn't have to end. It's all right. I'm going to go home with what I've got. And there we go. We have taken it. So, the art style. Now, let's break it down. Let me, let me first say that. Let's break it down. What do we feel about this game? Okay, so the art style, first of all, it might not be for everyone. This is old school graphics. I mean, look at that little man running. It's nothing major. It's just a little guy. The music, the sound, I think is great. I think it's it's really, it captures that old school effect. This game is meant to feel like an old school type of game. The gameplay is absolutely flawless. There is so much that I like. From the whole reverse tower defense kind of thing where you are placing the tiles, making your character stronger. The builds that you can do, the experimentation. I mean, I did this and I just kind of tried and tried and tried and tried and found what works and I ended up kind of just using as few cards as I could. The rogue, the forest and the river. And that was pretty much it. And then tons and tons of spiders. And I could do that. And I haven't even really delved deeply into the warrior or the necromancer. I mean, I sucked at the necromancer, so maybe that's a good thing. But yeah, the build has the, the game has so such a variety of builds. I, I can't I can't give this game any more praise. So I honestly, but I, even more than nine, I'll give this a nine point five because I can't. The only thing that could possibly be better is the slightly cheesy writing. There is slightly cheesy writing. You know, the jokes are like a little bit stale, but that also, I guess that's part of the effect. It's, and, you know, whatever, we beat the god at the end, and we found out that Sarah's actually Yoto, like some super awesome god. So, you know, woo, plot twist there, didn't see that one coming. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to let this go through. I'm happy to call this game done. I hope you have enjoyed sitting through the series with me. I've had so much fun with this game. I absolutely love this game. Um, and I hope you've had fun with me too. So yeah, uh, if you want to see more content from me, just have a look on the channel. I've got a couple of other playlists going up. At this stage, I've got Into the Breach, a playthrough of Into the Breach that I'm going through, and also Super Liminal. So yeah, thank you once again so much for watching, and I'll see you not in the next episode, but in the next series. <laughs>